Information wants to be free, but if that information is a calorie count for my favorite donut, then lock it up, lock it up. You know what I mean? We're living in the ultimate age of information. You're watching this video because you have access to an awesome portal of collective knowledge called the internet. And having more information can often help us make better choices, which is all well and good, except for the fact that humans are not always information seekers. Sometimes we even avoid information that could help us. For instance, you probably have an idea about how much money you've spent lately, but you might avoid actually looking at your bank account so you don't see the exact amount you splurged on that new purse. The information is right there, but you just don't want to know, and not knowing might have consequences. This psychological phenomenon is called active information avoidance. You're actively avoiding information when these three things happen. You know the information exists, it could be costly to avoid, but you still go out of your way to ignore it. A recent paper from Carnegie Mellon University found that people have a wide variety of strategies to avoid information, and they do it to protect themselves. And this seems like kind of a no-brainer. People avoid information that might be painful to receive. We don't want to know how many calories are in that hot fudge sundae because it looks amazing and we want it. We don't want to know it's a thousand calories because knowing that number might deter us from having it. Might. Avoiding the calorie counts in a dessert, that happens. We all do it because sometimes you just need to live a little. But what are the consequences of avoiding something a little more serious, like say medical issues? Another study looked at people who were at risk for Huntington's disease, a fatal brain disorder, and found that a large fraction of people avoided getting tested at all. Carnegie Mellon researchers called this an optimism bubble. Basically, people won't get tested because they want to live their lives without fear or consequence. They don't want their bubble bursted. Burst, bursted. This is why people don't get tested for cancer, why people don't follow the news. They want to live in an optimism bubble. But living there isn't living in reality. Think about sexually transmitted infections. If I'm living in my optimism bubble and I don't get tested, I could be infecting others. And speaking of bubbles, this extends to how we reinterpret information that counters our beliefs. For example, there's a growing body of scientific research that is widely available, disproving the link between vaccines and autism. And yet, a bunch of unscientific websites linking the two are cited by people who already believe vaccines cause autism. So even if the data is right there, it will be discounted if it goes against what people want to believe. Active information avoidance is a psychological protection strategy because we've spent months or years building physical brain pathways and patterns of behavior around a worldview. Changing those pathways, that takes energy and work. It causes stress and uncertainty. Avoiding it is so much easier, though not necessarily better. So what should we do about this? How do we break out of being active information avoiders? Well, according to the researchers at Carnegie Mellon, if you want to change someone's mind, make a personal relationship with them first. If you form a meaningful relationship with a friend, you could maybe remind them to get their prostate checked for cancer or breast cancer checks. You could remind them to keep tabs on their finances or maybe not to eat that Sunday. If you know you're avoiding information yourself, maybe try and work a little to, well, not. For example, you might try and avoid information about why New York has the best bagels. Is it water, a location, tradition? It's a debate, I love bagels. Thrillist just launched a brand new show, Food Groups. My buddy Dave hits up a cast of food experts as they hunt down a dish that's authentically tied to a different neighborhood, nationality, or lifestyle. You can check out his bagel adventure right here. I love that's a bagel, he got so lucky. But let's say you're in an argument and you want to convince your friend you're right. Science has the best way to do that in this video over here. What information do you definitely avoid? Let us know down in the comments and please subscribe for more videos.